is DJ Johnny at JDM FM, and today I continue my story around Sankey and Penketh. I've arrived at a place called Sankey Bridges. Uh huh? Why Sankey Bridges? What a funny name. I suspect it's because of the bridges. Let's go and have a look. Oh, this is a very tranquil and beautiful place. Uh, during the Industrial Revolution, it was far from it. Uh, this place at Sankey Bridges was a hive of activity. There was smoke billowing everywhere, industry all the way around us, and this particular place where I am now used to be a boat builder's yard. In fact, it was Clare and Ridgeway, a huge company which used to make Mersey Flats, which are huge, huge 70 foot craft, and also barges, and they'd maintain them as well. And in fact, where I am now is the boat yard itself. Dearly me, let's go and explore. where I am now, where the brook is just over there, uh, there used to be a huge mill here. I don't know what sort of mill it was, obviously some sort of corn mill where they'd, they'd grind uh, wheat and, um, and other materials like that. Uh, but it could have been a slitting mill. I'm looking for a slitting mill around this area. Can't find it anywhere. If anybody knows about a slitting mill in Sankey, please let me know. So I'm just near a pub called The Sloop on Old Liverpool Road. Now this bridge that I'm on at the moment, uh, it's, it's, it actually says here, the Mill Sankey Bridge on this side. Mill Sankey Bridge. And on the other side, it says Sankey Mill Bridge. Uh, don't know why it's got a different name. Mill, the huge mill that was behind me, or where it's all gone now completely. Uh, they use the water from the brook, which is just down down here, and the water, uh, the actual brook was split, so the water could go underneath into the uh, the mill buildings itself, through all the wheels and everything else, making all the corn and the and the wheat and grinding everything up and so forth, and then it would go back into the the uh, the brook further up. It go right the way around through the mill race and back. Whoa. The mill used water from the brook, the original brook, which was over there coming through. It went underneath, underneath the buildings of the mill and then came out on the other side through what they call the mill race, which is up there. And that's called the Great Bridge. That's another bridge over there. So we've now seen one bridge here and another one over there. That's one, two bridges, just for the uh, for where the brook was originally. When the water passed through the mill, which was over there, it used to come through under that great bridge, which is there. The mill race used to come all the way around under the, where the road is now, across, 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 along, right the way along, underneath here, all the way through, back to the original brook. Whoa! And that's where the mill race used to come in, back into the brook, after it had been through the mill. Then when the canal came along, the Sangha Canal, they built another bridge here, and that's that bridge there, which used to be uh, a bridge which lifted, a bascule bridge, which lifted uh, to allow the big boats coming through with the huge orange sails going through down towards the Mersey over there. Whoa! And this, just here next to the canal, is the bridge house, and this is where the man who used to control the bridge up and down used to live. Hmm, very nice, local and 20 metres from the bridge up there. There's another bridge here, which is like a footbridge or a, another bridge. And this bridge here still use, it still works today. They've repaired it and maintained it, which is great. And this bridge was used when the main bridge for the road was down, so people could still cross the bridge when they're doing maintenance on the huge bridge, which was over there. Whoa. That's four bridges so far. The two on the old brook, one, two, the new one here, three, and this footbridge, four. Let's go and find another one. And this is bridge number five. This bridge is used for uh, for railway, it's a railway bridge. Uh, so locomotives used to go over here. Uh, you see how low it is? That's how low it is. Dearly me. 
So this was a turn bridge and it was normally left open so the boats had priority in those days because the boats were there first if you like uh, and the, 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 when a train came across they had to close the bridge so that the trains could then cross safely. However, one night uh, a long time ago uh, there was a brand new steam locomotive coming along the track with a new crew. The crew didn't know the route, they hadn't been over here before and when they got to the bridge they didn't know the bridge was open and they went crashing shh, straight the way into the canal. Oh, dearie me, shh, steam and everything was everywhere, fire everything and whatever you. Uh, fortunately nobody was killed, nobody was hurt and, uh, and the guys got out quite safely. Poor, the poor engine though was stuck in the water and it was stuck there for quite a few days I believe. Anyway, the thing is that they were able to lift the, tr the train out eventually, take it back to the, sh to the shed to get repaired, and because it was quite a new train, they decided they were going to uh, redo the locomotive, and they got it back on the rails fairly quickly. Whoa! Pleased about that. So this used to be a turntable bridge, and uh, it used to turn when, uh, when boats were either coming down the canal or when trains were coming this way. And it was operated by uh, a signal box, which is just there, and just behind it was Sankey Bridge's train station. There was a station, actually uh, station here as well. Because it was such a busy place, lots of industry, lots of all sorts of other things going on around here, uh, they had a little station of their own. Uh, all gone now, as you can see. Oh, dearie me. When the canal was first built uh, in 1756, 57, where have you, uh, it stopped here and there was a lock, which have all gone now, and the lock then entered into the brook itself and went back into the Mersey. But that was awful because they had to wait for the tides to come up to empty the, uh, the canal, and there was huge queues of big barges going all the way up there, uh, waiting for the, for the tide so they could get into the Mersey. So what they decided to do is extend the canal all the way around, along there, all the way to somewhere called Fiddler's Ferry, which is further up there, and we'll see on another video. Uh, but it's absolutely amazing how they did it. Uh, so it continued, uh, the canal then continued all the way, and eventually it went to Spike Island, which is further up there. Whoa! So the canal used to carry on along, along there, and then went straight across to the locks there, and then down to the brook, and eventually down to the Mersey. And I found two more bridges here. Uh, again, uh, going over the uh, the brook itself. Uh, there's one that's a, a um, one for cars over there. Can you see that one over there? And the one I'm on now is a footbridge. That's six, seven, seven bridges all together, all around one area. Whoa! side of the canal now and uh, I thought it might be worth looking at a little, little bit of the industry around uh, this area, around Sankey Bridges, although there's loads and loads uh, of, uh, of factories which have all now gone. This is Mersey White Lead. Mersey White Lead has closed now, closed a long time ago, but they used to manufacture lead paint which is really quite dangerous stuff. Now the, what they used to have is it's got lead and when lead oxidizes it produces like a white cake, a white film on the, uh, on the face of it and they can scrape it off, they used to scrape it off and use the powder to make white, uh, white lead paint. Uh, that's what they did there and there was also behind it a huge fertilizer factory as well, a really really massive fertilizer factory at the back there and I believe it used to stink to high heaven, absolutely abominable, awful smells came from, it, from here. So lots and lots of, uh, with, with the industrial revolution, quite a lot of horrible smells and other things that came through with the smoke. There might have been prosperity, but it wasn't a very nice place to be. Jeepers creepers! the Black Horse pub. Now there's always little ghost tales around these places. This pub is ancient or the buildings are ancient. In fact it says it was rebuilt in 1632 so it must be really really old. Anyway in the Oliver Cromwell's days when there was all sorts of battles and fights everywhere around Warrington uh, there was a guy called Giles Boston who used to run this place. Uh, he was a blacksmith and it was a stabling yard and one night some cavaliers came along and they, asked, they demanded a horse of him. He wouldn't give it to him so they, they killed him, they, they shot him in the chest. Uh, he, was, oh, he was obviously mortally wounded and started crawling out. And he was crawling out of here and eventually he died. Oh, how sad. Anyway, 
over, for over 200 years, people have seen his ghost. And we think it's his ghost. And he's called the Crawling Man. And he's seen, he's going around, walking around all this place, around, around uh, Sankey Bridges, and the sightings quite regularly. And bizarrely, this morning, when I was talking to a guy over the road around this place, uh, he tells me he'd seen this ghost, he'd seen him. And he said he had uh, all leather clothes on, just like a blacksmith. He had a, a, a metal helmet and, uh, and a really ugly, ugly, horrible old face, which in, in real in real pain as well. Whoa! It must have been him. So Did I wonder if I'll see the crawling man and he walks today. You never know. And if you look in the distance, just behind me, right behind the distance, there's another bridge. It's the uh, the railway bridge that goes over the the brook on this side as well. Dear me, so the brook, so the railway goes over the brook on this side, and then it goes over the canal further up. Jeepers creepers! So I make that about eight bridges. I know the one of the bridges over there has all been filled in now, so it's not a bridge anymore, the Great Bridge. But uh, jeepers! So effectively, seven or eight bridges in this area. Whoa! on the path about 15 minutes uh, from Sankey Bridges just to have a look at where the Mersey is. So this is the River Mersey and just up there just behind me is where the uh, the barges, the, um, the, uh, the, the the huge boats going through the, uh, the Mersey Flats used to go in with the orange sails into the brook originally and then move up into the canal later on. Dearly me, that's where it was, that was the position. You can see how low the tide is here. It goes really low, so they have to uh, wait for the tide to go up before they can go into the, the canal or before they used to go into the canal. Dearly. And further up there is, uh, is, is uh, Fiddler's Ferry, which we're going to explore another day. We'll have a look at that then. Oh, what a busy, busy day I've had, dearly me. So we've been to look at Sankey Bridges today. We've had a look at all where they used to make the boats, the boat building place. We've had a look at uh, the, the canal, uh, where it, um, all the sort of, all the bridges around the canal. Can't believe how many bridges there are. There must be seven or eight bridges there now. Jeepers creepers. And we've even found a little ghost story. Did me? Crikey. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna continue my, my, uh, my videos around Penketh and Sankey as the days go on. And if the weather permits as well. Anyway, whatever you're doing, hope you have a fabulous time and see you again very, very soon. Bye.